Hey guys, Midwest Professional here bringing you in a video that I'm really excited about because it, it ha gives you the opportunity to save a lot of money on an electronic game call. Okay, this everything you see here, I got three parts from Radio Shack to make this happen. And this can save you a lot of money from buying one of those Fox Pro Spitfires or the Fox Pro Furries. Those things literally cost hundreds of dollars. Everything that you see here, these three parts, I got from Radio Shack for $32. So in essence I have an electronic game call for $32. Alright, I'm gonna go out, uh, I'm gonna go step by step what you do to make this work. <clears throat> Alright, you're gonna need a way to get the game calls off your computer onto an MP3 device. This happens to be an iPod Mini, um, Mini, sorry, not so mini. This thing is probably at least like 10 years old. Uh, it's, I never even use it, so it works perfect. So you need an MP3 device. You're going to need a, a mono 3.5 millimeter mono cord that has two ends, so you can plug it from your MP3 player into your mini amplifier. And you need this mini amplifier. It uses a nine volt battery uh, to amplify the sound for your your power horn speaker. Uh, and so you need a mono cable to run from this to this. And then this is just some some speaker wire we had laying around, and you uh, this part right here is the part. That it's a 3.5 mono adapter that you can uh, solder in the stereo wire into this adapter, and it just plugs in. So I'll give you a look at it. That's what it looks like. So from here, this runs. You can have as much wire as you want. I don't know how much this is. I might add to it. And then you just solder it into the wire that comes with uh, your power horn. All right. I'll put these in the descriptions, the parts, uh, these three parts that I got from Radio Shack. Uh, around here, it cost me $32. If you have an old MP3 player laying around, like most people do, you can use that. So for about $30 to $40, you can have what is a very very nice electronic game call that you can put any sounds you want you're not limited to the sounds that come pre-programmed on them I'm gonna go ahead and demo it right now and hopefully my camera picks it up I don't know anyways you turn the the, the mini amplifier on on this switch right here and uh, you can turn it up real high but this is as, I have it on as low as it can go because this thing is extremely loud Alright, so I'm going to go over to my iPod here, and I think I have, I, can, I don't know what's about to play, but uh, I'll play it. Alright, it sounds like a coyote distress or something like that. And as you can see on my iPod here, uh, let's see, that is the volume as low as it can go. Yeah, that hurts my ears to crank the volume up. It really hurts my ears to crank the volume up. Uh, I'm inside. Uh, these things, it's impressively loud though, I have to say. And, and that's not even turning your amplifier up all the way. If you turn your amplifier up all the way and the volume all the way up on your iPod, it's extremely loud. Dangerous for your hearing, <laughs> indoors at least. So, here you guys have it. Uh, how to make a let's call it a forty dollar electronic game call for all you predator hunters out there I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I'll post a link to the website you can get game calls from and uh, thanks for watching watch my other videos subscribe whatever thanks see you guys later